the group stages of the AFCON is fine and you I'm sure you enjoyed all the moments but let's get into my team of the tournament so I've selected 11 players who I think are the best 11 of the group stages so let's get into it For goalkeeper, we have Jesus Owen from Equatorial Guinea. So he made the second most saves in the competition and also even helped his country keep a clean sheet against that is host country, Cote d'Ivoire. If you watch the game between Nigeria and Equatorial Guinea, you realize that he was a reason why Equatorial Guinea picked their point in that game, which was so important to them finishing first place in the group. Right back, we have Akira Fakimi from Morocco. So I think he has been one of the best players in the competition so far. He's been everywhere, everywhere, and I mean everywhere. So he has one goal already to his name, although has one assist to his name. Even apart from that, he has created 10 chances in the competition and even defensively has made 10 tackles so far in the competition. Not so many players have such impressive numbers as he does so far. Center back, my first center back is Nigeria's Calvin Bassey. So Calvin Bassey actually started the competition from the bench the first match. Nigeria Pitoa Guinea, he was on the bench. He came on in the second half and since then, He's been stupendous, incredible. He has the most clean sheets in the competition. Uh, he's made 10 tackles in the competition. He's been able to play 10 successful long balls. I mean, everywhere you want successful play, Calvin Bassi has done it defensively. Then my second centre-back pairing is Topila Suzu from Zambia. He has been a pillar. When I say a pillar, I mean an unmovable pillar. From making goal and clearances to make it very, very important tackles, interceptions, blocks, He's just been there for Zambia. I think Zambia have been poor in the competition, but the reason why they were not so poor in terms of their output is mainly because of Susan, because he stopped a lot of goals. And left back, I have Arthur Maswaku from that is the DL Kong. So Maswaku has also been another fairly balanced player in the competition, giving a lot of offensive outputs, like creating four chances, and being a dribb and dribbling monster, going past players or fun five dribbles. He's had so far in the competition. And even defensively, he's made 20 recoveries, 20 ball recoveries, six tackles, four interceptions. I mean, he's done it all. For defensive midfield, we have Kevin Pina of Cape Verde. So this guy is actually a bench former. He plays mostly on the bench for his club, that's Karash in Russia. But in the Afghan, he's bossing it. So he's got a banger from this range for Cape Verde in the game against Mozambique. But even away from that, he's been very, very present defensively in terms of screening the defense of that is Kip Vedi. He has made seven tackles and even made nine clearances. Central midfield, we have Pamba Guy of Senegal. This guy has been the engine room of Senegal. So he actually got the Afghan started by scoring the first goal for Senegal. The first game they played against that is Gambia. He scored the first goal in the game and since then, he's just been on fire making 16 ball recoveries, three tackles, five clearances, and even creating chances in addition to all this. And our last midfielder, we do have Azedin Unai for Morocco. I mean, it would have been criminal for me not to include him because he's a real definition of a main stroke in the tournament. So this guy is the one who dictates and directs the attack of Morocco. He's been able to create five chances, make eight dribbles so far in the competition, and even wrapped up with one ball with his name. Then to our forward lines, um, first, we have Mustafa Mohamed of Egypt. So he scored three goals, and all those three goals are very, very important goals for Egypt because his three goals have helped to give Egypt three points, which helped them to qualify out of the group stages. He's the kind of striker who doesn't really need a lot of chances. Just smell a half chance and bump. He converts it into a goal, three goals in this name. Then our second forward is Sadio Mane. By his own standards, well, he hasn't had such a good, in quotes, a good tournament, but Considering how well he's played in this competition, he must be the team of the tournament so far. Senegal mostly use him as a decoy to distract the opponent and then use the other side. That's the side of his man as But even with that, he's been able to retain two assists and one goal with his name for Senegal. Then I last forward is Emilio Nsvi, the captain of Equitorial Guinea. I mean, I need not to say much. He's the top scorer of the Afghan. Five goals he has so far in three games. That's, that's incredible. Only that alone should get him in the team of the competition. He's got a hat-trick also, first hat-trick since 2008. Impressive a million sweet. He's the kind of striker who just give him the ball and he knows how to make magic with it and get to your goal. He's done brilliantly and he's also in our team of the tournament. 
So this is our team of the tournament. Tell me who you think I didn't mention and should win the team in the comment section below.